Hi everybody, this is Rich of the Rich Maxwell channel. Welcome back. If you're new, this channel is about drones and photography and also more recently talking videography as I learned to do more and more cool content for you guys and more and more techniques in Premiere Pro and After Effects. I wanna share that sort of stuff with you so you can try it out for yourself. So this video, gonna be talking about how to put in gunfire effects in your videos. So recently we've all been going through a big change with the whole like lockdowns due to coronavirus, we're all stuck at home. That's for me led me to be a bit more creative with my camera and think of things that um, I haven't done before. So I've got a lot more time on my hands, so that's also meant that I've got more time to play around with editing and learn new techniques and things. So, specifically, this video is going to talk about how to put gunfire effects into your videos. As uh, at the weekend I was doing a bit of a nerf battle with my son, and I thought it'd be cool to get some of these shots and then edit it in Premiere Pro to add in the bangs, like real gun sound effects, and then also the little bit of fire at the end of the gun so make it look really realistic like an action film so if you've ever wanted to be star of an action film I'm going to show you in this video how you can do that using just Premiere Pro and a few little simple techniques so onto the computer now then we've got our completed little clip here this is what we're going to be putting together in this tutorial so uh, we've got our handsome action star here shooting his gun and as you can see there's the uh, little flame effect and a bullet effect as I uh, fire the gun. So I'm going to show you how to put that together now. So there's three elements that you need to put this together. Obviously you need your, your little clip first of your, your person shooting a gun. So that's my clip there. So drag that over into our timeline first of all and then we're going to look at the clip find the exact moment where the gun fires. As you can see, the Nerf bullet does pass extremely fast. So we're gonna find the exact moment that it starts popping out the gun, so it's there. And next up, we're gonna put a little marker on that so we know where it is. And then we're gonna to wanna to put our sound clip in there. So the sound clip, we're gonna cut it so that it's just got the bullet sound right at the start. So we're using the in and out points. These are these little brackets here to really cut the clip down because it's quite a long clip initially. And then that looks good to me. So it's just gonna have that bullet sound in the clip. I'm gonna put that on where we put the marker. So I drag the sand effect on there. And then already we've got the, uh, the bullet being fired at the exact right moment. So that's pretty cool. And next up, this little clip here that I found online is of a gun going off basically. So it's got a black background and a load of smoke, the bright flash of a gun. It's the wrong way around at the moment, but no problem at all, we can correct all that. So firstly, you're just gonna drag it onto the timeline. I've again cut this clip to an in and an out point that is just around the uh, point where the gun flash shows up. So we're putting it on where the marker is, and that will basically have it line up perfectly with the gunshot that we're looking to create here in our clip. So next we're gonna to want to flip this round. So we can do that just by going into effect controls, rotation, and then flip it round so it's the right kind of angle to line up with our, our gun there. And all I'm doing here is just holding the mouse cursor down and changing that angle. Okay, so that's all set. If we wanted to, we could change the size as well. Make it a smaller little gunshot like that. But next, what we're going to do is we're going to look for an effect in the effect control window. So we're in color at the moment, so we'll go to effects. And the one we're going to look for is color key. So I've already got it selected there, but if you just typed in key at the top there, you're going to have color key come up. I'm going to drag that onto the little gunshot clip. So it's really small in the timeline, so we'll just zoom in drag it onto there and then for the color key instead of blue we're going to want to pick that that black background now for some reason that moved across to my other screen but yeah so we'll pick the eyedropper and just pick the black and that has keyed out most of the blackness around the gunshot and now you, by using the next slider, the color tolerance, that's really gonna take out the rest of the, the black 
clip the edges around it. Next up, just line it up nicely. And we can make the edge a bit thinner so it's not so harsh. We can feather the edge as well. Now it's starting to look pretty good already. If we played that back, it would probably be okay for the most part, but if we want to make it really perfect, then obviously the gun changes position slightly as the gunfire happens. So we can go through each frame and then see that the fire isn't going to be in line with the actual gun point. So to change that, all we got to do is keyframe up the position. So it's correct there. So we'll put a keyframe there and it's just about there then where it's moved a bit. So put another keyframe. position it so that it's over the gun so hopefully that's going to be pretty much in line so again we've added our keyframes and kind of moved the uh, the little fire and smoke along with the gun tip of the gun we're going to be pretty much there then. So it's looking pretty good, perfectly usable as is, but to make it perfect, what you could do then is just go into the, the color settings or maybe increase the or decrease the opacity of this. So it just blends in a bit better with the original clip. And then in the uh, color settings, you can add a bit of saturation to it if you want to get a bit more of the orange and the the vibrant sort of colour to it. And yeah, just add in a bit of contrast, a bit of saturation. As you can see, we've got our gunshot effect. So it's looking pretty good. And then you just gotta go through all your footage and add that little effect in. To make it easier though, for the next gunshot that you've got, you can just copy that whole like bit and use it again. So here we've got another gunshot. So finding the point where the gun's going off. Then we'll just copy that to so control C. We'll lock the layer where it's got me shooting so that it doesn't copy over that original footage. And then again, we've got the clip all there. We'll need to clear off the position keyframes though, because otherwise it's just gonna change position back to where it was for that other clip, which won't obviously work. But yeah, easily added then to your future clips. Again, you need to just keyframe it to set the position to be just right, but that's pretty easy to do now that you've got the the image all correct as you want it. So it's just a matter of adding the keyframes in position. But it starts off there. That keyframe will move it to about there. And then as you can see, it's moving along nicely with the gun. So there it is then, that's how you add the gunshots to your clips. Now other things to add, sometimes you might have a bit where the gunman is shooting more towards you, in which case you can add a effect to make this layer this bit 3D, which can be really helpful if you're at different camera angles. So to do that, you just go to effects, 
for 3D. So basic 3D. And then you could get down to the clip here. And then you can kind of tilt. If you wanted to tilt it. But also, more importantly, you can swivel it. So if the guy was kind of looking more towards you, then that would be good to make it the um, the gunfire look like it's pointing in the right direction. So you'll see what I mean if I have a, a clip uh, where the, the gunman is shooting at a different angle and you can just make it all line up properly with the, the gun itself and look really cool. So that's the tutorial. Hope that's been helpful for any of you guys that want to have a bit of fun in Premiere Pro and put some nice effects into your movies. And maybe if you want to try doing a little nerf battle yourself with your, your kids and then putting it together in Premiere Pro into a little action film, this might help you out. But as you can see, really easy to put these effects in. And with a bit more tinkering there, you could probably make it even better. So hope this has been useful. Please subscribe and join me again for more videos and maybe give this video a like and I'll see you all again in future. Bye for now.